Today we are looking at a roof that is tiled and it's a pitch and prop. So it's pitched and then it's propped. The roof itself is pitched with, uh, that'd be 100 by 50 OB, ordinary builder. Now it's dried out, it'll be round about what we call a four by one and a half or a um, 100 millimeters by 35 mil. It's shrunk into size. Underneath that, we've got a 100 by 75 uh, OB, that's our under purlin, which is that cross member running all the way through there, that's our under purlin. And then we've got our under purlin props coming straight off that. Here's an under purlin prop here, that's a small one, and it's stretching quite a distance. You can see that hips uh, 120, 150 by 20 mil, and it looks like it's Oregon as well. From here, what we need to do is find our wall plates. So here we've got a wall plate coming through. We've got all of the ceiling joists. These are our ceiling joists through here. And this is our wall plate. Uh, and our beam or our prop is coming down to our wall plate. That's where we know that we've got a load bearing point. Also what gives us a load bearing point. We've got another load bearing point just over here. See we've got an under pearl and prop coming down to the wall plate. Again, you can see we've got a wall plate running all the way through. This is our manhole over here. And then we've got a hanging beam running that way. And we've got a hanging beam running that way with soldiers on each side of the hanging beam. So that hanging beam, what it's doing is it's separating the weight of the ceiling joist. So the ceiling joist is running from this wall plate over to the external wall and what this is doing it's the hanging beam is actually splitting that span in half and taking that weight so that the plaster doesn't sag the ceiling doesn't sag etc underneath these joists here you can see that we've got ceiling batten and what that does is the original Joyce would have been put in wet, so OB being put in wet, so it shrinks and changes in size. Then we've got a batten, um, which would have been run through just to try and make sure that it was, it would have been packed down to size, so the ceiling would have been nice and flat. And then there we've got horsehair plasterboard put on top of that. The reason that these battens are put in and they're packed down to height, you see we've got a nice flat ceiling and then the horsehair is put on top. The other thing that we need to take into consideration is this roof, or sorry, this ceiling has got a ceiling rose in it. And you can see that just slightly indented in here. You can see that. And so that's got a bit of weight to it. And that by itself actually comes up. You'll see that there's no batten at all in that area. So it's got a slight inlay. Back to it, we've got a hanging beam through here that's picked up on a hanging beam prop, which is over the top of another wall. So that's a wall plate through there as well. And then, so you've got a hanging beam on top of both of those. So that there again is a load bearing point. So this is a load bearing wall. If you ever wanted to change this wall, if you ever wanted to open up these two bedrooms, you would have to stick a beam all the way through here that would take this under pearl and prop that, that, and those two hangers as well. So it would have to take quite a bit of weight. It can be done, um, it just depends on how deep your pocket is. So for a tiled roof, we have 80 to 90 kilograms per square meter of weight. On a corrugated iron roof, we have 40 to 60 kilograms per square meter in weight. Um, if you have a look at the previous roof that we looked at that was a, a pitch and prop as well but there was no tiles it was a corrugated iron so it was only propped on the sides on the external walls whereas this one you can see it's been propped absolutely everywhere um, just to make sure that it takes up all of that extra weight and there's no sagging in the roof we get a lot of phone calls about roofs that have fallen in where people have removed load bearing walls without knowing where the load is or um, measuring it up or um, finding out the the load of the kilograms per square meter of their roof. I've been to a job before where 
the people haven't checked their roof and they've ripped out the wall below a skillion joining onto a pitch and prop and the whole roof's fallen down on top of them. Very dangerous. Um, you need to make sure, you need to contact a professional to find out if these walls are load bearing and how much they're bearing, etc. Hope that's helped you out. Any questions or queries, flick them over. I'll answer them best I can. Anybody else out there, any questions or queries, flick them over and I'll have a look at them for you. Thanks for watching and like always, till next time, stay unreal, banana peel, and I'll see you in the soup.